ITC Windsor Hotel, Bangalore, Karnataka. On this auspicious occasion of launch, a very warm welcome to all of you to the Ashirwad Smart India program. It's a privilege to have. Manager Nutrition Science in CSR projects from Home Nutrition ITC. From ITC Staples. I also ex And lastly, I shall beneficiaries to join us in lighting the lamp. This is the logical framework that what activity we to use. We're going to ensure the growth of kitchen gardens or nutrient gardens in the community. Line after the intervention is over to like how much increase we have been able to make in the knowledge. We thought of starting a program under the CSR initiative and that is Ashivat Smart India program that aims at generating awareness. If you look at the, the problem with uh, public health that we take a lot of things which happen daily for granted. Uh, two young boys, uh, 10 years old, and on weekends I take time to teach them science. So they were learning about uh, photosynthesis and starch, and, and there is a big test you do on starch and leaf, right? Which is that photosynthesis happen, which is called the iodine test. So that got me curious to them asking my kids, on, do you know about iodine? Right? And they had never heard so much about iodine. And that brought me back to my childhood. Because in, when I was a kid, there was a lot of education and school program which used to happen on educating children and children like me at that time upon uh, you know, what is iodine, why is it important, what happens when we are educated. And it so happened the very next day, I was going for consumer home today. And I met this woman, I was going for Ata, but I met this woman who was actually deficient in iodine and started having thyroid problems. But she did not know, right? She was a and goiter. Cretinism as I told, if the neck due to improper production and secretion of thyroid hormone which is mainly because of iodine deficiency in the body. Cretinism, it, is, it occurs when a iron deficiency anemia, various vitamin deficiencies like vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin A or it could be like very important iodine deficiency disorders. They say around 10% of Indian population is affected by one or other types of thyroid disorders. So, as it is already briefed now, iodine is a mineral which is essential for production of thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone as we all know, if it is not produced in sufficient quantities, in sufficient time, 
there will be problem with the growth and development of human it could be fetus infant young children pregnant mothers adults anybody anybody can be affected thank you water we say and most of the coastal states and coastal districts will have good uh, problems with the growth and development short stature all the systems will be affected both musculoskeletal lot of information has been put forward when i was uh, invited for this program i initially said this is more related to school education and then women and child department so i directed them kindly speak to school education minister and women and child education women and child minister unfortunately i i, I tried to uh, convince our minister but uh, since he had uh, uh, other programs and he had to travel to shumaga he expressed his inability and then again our minister for women women and child development also was not in town and finally i to say that only i would will come and address uh, and i probably be part of this uh, very uh, unique and uh, a very meaningful program see government alone cannot take up certain uh, issues with regard to creating awareness amongst the masses and the public there is always a equal responsibility of uh, such organizations to come forward and see that they join hands with the government in creating awareness and see that such disorder disorders are not going to affect the general public especially the future of this country so as uh, they've come out with a nice uh, leaflet i think uh, here they have mentioned what are the ways of trying to create awareness amongst the children as well as the pregnant women lactating mothers and the general public how they are supposed to have the minimum requirement of iodine content so as we saw what are the supplements or what should be our dietary choices in terms of having the required amount of iodine in our body so you all know we are all vegetarians as well as non vegetarians so when we look at uh, the iodine content i think it is um, the non vegetarian uh, diet people i think they have various options it is in terms of seafood or meat and uh, egg for example and the milk products for the vegetarians i think they should depend more on the milk products for the required content of uh, iodine required and uh, recently i think uh, you are all aware that our government used to give egg for the school children starting from the first standard till the 10th standard it was given weekly twice they were used to give they were being given the egg in the schools now recently we have launched with the support of azim prem ji foundation we are giving egg on all the six days so this is one uh, good thing which has happened so probably the malnourished people who, who are deprived of the required dietary supplements in their routine food habits because of poverty 
I think uh, this is going to go a big way. Probably I would like to thank Azim Ji, Az Azim Prem Ji Foundation for also helping us in trying to supplement diet deficiency disorders as well because all these things will go in a big way in whatever awareness pro program what we are doing in the name of Ashirwa to look at. And again I saw Mejsa has to tell us or Shakri in terms of agricultural produce we are spoiling the health of the soil by way of using a lot of fertilizers, a lot of pesticides. I think that is where I think uh, the content of iodine is also not going to be there. Similarly, in terms of water, the fast depletion of water, groundwater, which is affecting where we are drilling bore wells. For example, I come from the districts where we have gone up to 2,000 feet of uh, getting drinking water. 